Hello everybody, it is your favorite monkey baboon and welcome back to Satisfactory. Oh yes, it is time for another episode. I hope you guys are ready for this because we are going to do some things. Uh, before I continue on, I would actually like to point out something which I've noticed is how these colors and things on the buildings and whatnot look like. I mean, they look really cool. More modern, simplistic. I would say a bit more industrial. I would say that's pretty cool. Yeah, cool. No, ooh, what what the hell is hool? <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Um, today we're gonna do some stuffs in the hub by upgrading the tiers and whatnot. If we just quickly get to the a lot of pretty flowers. So yeah, we're gonna see if we cannot unlock tier one and tier two, specifically the base building one, right now. Uh, I do think I have enough of the materials. I have been busy collecting or plopping down miners and then smelters, then constructors into bins or containers, these things. And yes, I've also been making... Why are you stuck? Why what, Why? Why are you stuck? Why? What are you doing? Are you full? No, you're not full. There we go. Okay, that was weird. But anyways, yes. I've uh, been making some biomass, biofuel things. Solid fuel, actually. Yeah, solid biofuel, which is much, much, much more efficient. Um, but yeah, I got the chainsaw and things already unlocked. Eh, over here, obstacle clearing. Just to get the chainsaw, just to get some view of the terrain we are going to build on. But back to the point at hand. We want to get some base building going. Um... To see the like how we are gonna do things so in my mind what we are what I think what we're gonna do I just want to get up to this one there is a bug on the hub if you try to climb up the ladder then you just get stuck halfway and it just does not want to work but anyways um yeah ooh, a bit of lag there so what I was thinking is I cleared that flat area out over there but this is an alien just hanging out in that I yeah there we go it's there um, I'll try to avoid it let's see but yeah I want to use that flat piece of land as the base of our well factory and like I said I think I said this in the previous episode I want to make a long factory um, and quite big with catwalks inside like we can walk on catwalks so another cool thing I was thinking of is kind of make it multi-layered one long factory and have like a vehicle or something which we can traverse it from one point to another then have catwalks going down into each division maybe that could be cool I don't know we will see how everything would lead us towards that but as we go we are gonna start here I'm going to set up as much as possible over here um, just to get things going, you know, uh, just to get us kickstarted and whatnot. And, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and check that out, I guess. Over here. So, base building, what do you need? Uh, 200, 200, 100. Okay, we have enough rods. Um, we just need the iron plates and the concrete. I think I have. Not the concrete. Where is my concrete? I put the concrete somewhere. That doesn't matter, we can just grab from here. Easy piece of lemon squeezy. Um sure let's take I generally could not remember now. <laughs> oh boy. Long term memory and short term memory are funny things. Let's go ahead and grab some of these plates. I think we only need like a hundred or something. But anyways, yeah, we grabbed way too much. Alright, let's go ahead and add the things that it wants and let's press the button to launch the pod so i was thinking of calling this thing steve we have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure and improved overview all right Building cool these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory all right bye steve come back soon the pod will return in 1 minute and 30 seconds, which is pretty cool. 
uh, we can go ahead and just dump that stuff back in there. And the next milestone is basically maybe logistics to get the splitters and whatnot. And productivity display. Let's go ahead and select that. And yeah, we, we will not be able to injure the things there. But we are golden. We are now ready to start the first steps, baby steps, in constructing a base. So, I was thinking of... See, with, fact, with uh, satisfy, I almost said Factoria. Wow, lag? Much? Thanks. The thing with Satisfactory is that there is not one piece of flat, large area. You kind of have to, you know, start somewhere and build up on that and just equalize the ground so you can you, like you have something to work with so i was thinking see this is kind of nice it's nice and flat um towards there it looks like it that way that way especially and we got more things here which we can mine out and yeah i think that, that's gonna be pretty cool and i feel like this height stop lagging Oh, Steve's back. What's wrong with Steve? What's wrong with you, buddy? He's got the jitters. Oh, well. So I was thinking, yeah, this is a good baseline. As we can see, it is actually higher than most of the terrain. You know, well, up until there, I guess. But yeah. And it's going to be pretty cool. You know, we, we, we are going to have a giant factory. Like one big factory of sections with specialized areas I think that'd be cool weird glowing ball what are you you are awesome I can't remember I've ever seen it before I, I never see the ball Alright, let's go ahead and harvest the specimen. And it's gone. But I think if we... Analyzing this will not give you anything. Okay, cool. So that is fine. See, this this is the plant I was talking about. It's gonna fart! No, it's not. Is it? I don't know if there's a way to kill... Ah, there we go. Now it's farting. Ugh, stop lagging. Yeah, see, now that... Now he farts. And I don't like that. Okay, okay, you can stop now. Please and thank you. Stop it. Alright, I'm 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 going away now. See? See? I'm moving away. I do not intend to uh Will you die off? Maybe. Ugh. Nah, he's not gonna do it. Anyway, so I was thinking maybe start here. You know, align ourselves directly to that way. And, uh, you know what, let's start, let's stand on top of there and look downwards. See, the thing is, there is a little bump here. So basically, I just want to be above these rocks. So let's go ahead, yes. Foundations. Uh, yes, yes, everything's new. So if we do that, uh, I cannot really get up on there. If we try this again, there. So I feel like, ooh, is this new? Looks new. Looks different. Yeah, so this should be higher than most of the uh, the rocks here, which is good. It's good. I like it. Let's go ahead and just grab it, go up on that hill, and start laying the first foundations, which will be our me mega mega base. Mega Factory! Ooh, that's actually a good name. A Mega Factory. Alright, so... The things aligned... Like that. Eh, I don't know why my game is so laggy. Let's just turn you a little bit. Yeah, I think that's fine, actually. Yeah. That's good. That's good. And there goes our <laughs> cement blocks or concrete. 
So this would be, yeah, this would be good. I like it. So we can just go ahead and extend this a little bit. Like so, like that, this, this. Up until here. Which is good. Ah, there's rock sticking out. Damn it. Well, we could probably finish up before that or yeah i think so maybe yeah we just call this borderline i thought i heard something like uh, one of those alien things don't know all right so yeah it is going to hover off the ground but i mean out of sight out of mind you know i think that's uh that's how it's gonna roll that's how we're gonna roll. We, if we don't see it, then it doesn't exist. Like most of the problems in this world. If we don't see it, it doesn't exist. Alright. So, let's continue on. Like I said, for today's episode, we should be able... Uh, how, okay, yeah, you guys are actually pretty good on that um, solid biofuel stuff. Let's go ahead and uh, get some plates, rods, and copper wire. Okay, got a couple of plates. How many do you need? So, 150, 150, 300. Okay, let's go ahead, just... Alright. 150. Just go ahead and drop that back in there. Do you, do you have space? No, I don't have space. Okay. Get the rods and get the copper wire. Uh, that's concrete. Rods are being made here. So uh, it was one. I just described that. It's fine. A tiny amount of excess, but it's okay. Oh yeah, I've, I've got is a hole here. It's kind of why I want to avoid building in this area because I might slip and just like fall into here. <laughs> oh boy, that is quite a drop. That's why I placed this thing over here so I don't have to run that way. Ah uh, sure. Just give me 500, that, that's fine, that's fine. But I think we're gonna need much more than that afterwards. But yeah, I've, I think this is gonna be a good, good run. If we get our base started, get some storage and things going, I think we should be golden. And yes, we did grab what we need. That and that, there we go, launch the pod! Milestone reach. Conveyor Steve's on his way. Split and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. The productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. Okay. Interesting. Um, all right. So we're gonna need some screws and plates more screws i uh, did not think of that jump pads i don't care about much and everything else oh yeah that's gonna be a bastard <laughs> all right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put a quick intermission here and uh you know try to get some of these screws and plates and things going and we'll be right back when we're gonna do this last one you know just to finish everything off because the part is gonna return it's gonna take some time to return each and every time so we just gotta finish this and logistics mark 2 will be the very last thing we will be sending steve up into space with our stuffs and in betweens i will go ahead and see if i can figure something out over here you know, just to see what we can do with a base. So, uh, lag all on tight. We'll be right back. And welcome back. So, I had a bit of a power failure because I was moving some things around. But this is the end result. And Steve just came back for the last upgrade to last tier, sub tier so, pff, thing. We got to finish tier two now. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I've done. Um, I resumed our biomass storage uh, or production to into storage. 
just to make sure the uh, generators are running. And uh, yeah, everything is still mining, everything's still good. And this is what we came up with. Um, I see that they did fix the ladder now. Now you can get up here, but this was not very high enough for me. But still, we can we can get a good view. I finished that last row of foundations just far enough away from that plant. So if we happen to walk past it, it will not activate, if that makes sense. You know, it will not attack us. And, um, well, fart, basically. It will stop farting. And, um, yeah, so I did extend out this way. And what I will do is I will go ahead and clear some of these bushes and things down here uh, in the basement level <laughs> uh, around here and things so they don't stick out as ugly as this. Um, I maybe want to continue on with and maybe one more row before we hit that ledge. I think that should be good enough. Ah, I don't know. Nah, I don't think, but I'm still going to get rid of that tree though. And um, everything underneath as well. Just to get it cleared and get the biomass for it. And then we just continue on building towards that way. Just to see where um, things will go. You know, but I think this is good. And uh, I don't know. Do we want to keep this rock or maybe build around it? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Um, I feel like we're going to continue on building around it and just wall it off. Or something. Maybe build on top of it. You know, I don't know. I don't know. We we will see. I will see what you guys have to say about it. But yeah, we're still gonna continue on that way up until we reach there, and then just take a left and continue on that way. It's gonna be a massive thing, but it's gonna cut back on walls and those kind of things so we will have all the leveled space we require to continue on with um different productions and things along the way so like different sections and whatnot like each section will stop lagging you bastard yeah i don't know what's going on i think i've been, been playing this game the whole day <laughs> the whole day just sitting around waiting for things to get created but anyways like i was saying like each each section will be um like specialized and then we just load whatever it builds onto a bus system or something and um or ship uh, conveyor bus conveyor bus there we go that's you know english okay and not my first language forgive me <laughs> um but yeah just load it on and then if something needs it down the line then we will continue on same as factorio basically if you guys have watched my factorio series um you, you would probably know what i'm talking about um but if you haven't go check it out it's pretty cool i had fun with it and uh yeah let's go ahead and finish up with this uh last section or this last a uh, um tier and then i think next episode we will probably have to put down a space elevator i feel like this this is calling for it or something i don't know we will be uh, we will see i don't know <laughs> uh yeah okay so over here ready to load the things on one 200 one 200 well that's 300 in total and one two 300 in total and Steve is on his way. Improved versions of conveyor belts and conveyor lifts are now accessible. To encourage additional verticality, conveyor poles now have a stackable variant. Oh man, look at him go. Bye, Steve. All right, so. Now, well, only jump pads or I will see if I want to do this. I don't know. But luckily, the next tiers only require the uh, space elevator, space elevator, uh, phase one. So that will be a thing. So we we will see of putting down the space elevator, and maybe just a building episode. You know, we just work a little bit on the base over here. See what we can do, you know, and uh, yeah, then may most likely just plop down. 
the uh, space elevator and just see what uh, what it requires and then from there on we will yeah we will see um, because at the end I think everything has to come back to the space elevator you know whatever you're producing it has to come back to the space elevator as far as I understand so yeah all that remains is to construct it um, oh yes also the awesome shop so I will talk to, about that in a second also the ma'am uh, yeah, so the space elevator is going to be quite costly. Uh, it's mainly me sitting around waiting for that to happen. And I can probably optimize for better throughput of um, productions. So yeah, that's basically what's going to sit. You know, I'm going to just sit here and do that the whole day. Just gather the materials and just wait for an excess of concrete uh, so that we can just continue on building. But what ma'am oh not ma'am ma'am is basically um i think in the previous season what we did was in here there was okay so they changed actually things around here inside oh wow that is textures missing galore <laughs> oh boy wow okay um all right <laughs> Interesting. What's this? <laughs> All right, this is I've never seen this before though. Karlov. Okay, okay, just just a massive warning of using this toilet. You will Yeah. All right, so anyways, uh as you guys probably remembered, there was this little research lab we had in here. There's some random pipes lying there. Um, I think now it has been moved outside, you know, taken out from the uh, hub into a special thing on its own. So I feel like we're going to have like a, a foreman's or a CEO office or something. I feel like that, like with all these small buildings, like the hub and the craft thing and the awesome shop and the ma'am, uh, there was something else, the crafting bench. That's basically the same thing as this, but still, I think that um, we we will have all of these in a like a main building, which will branch off into different sections, like a vehicle section, um, the rest of the factory, uh, a tram st station. I don't know. We will see what we can do. But I, f I I'm getting that vibe. You know, I, I'm getting that vibe, which is gonna make things real awesome. And then, um, yeah. We'll see from there on. But back to the whole thing. The That was the MAM. So the awesome sink basically is when you have excess amount of things being created. As for instance, or example, um, this guy is now stuck. You know, he's not producing anything, he, this miner. He's... Miner stop because this guy is full. This guy cannot produce because the conveyor belt's full. Because this guy is full of iron plates and this guy is full of iron plates as well. You know, this uh, storage. So what we can do is we can build the awesome shop or awesome sink. And it will just poop out everything and just destroys it. Whatever you throw into it, it will destroy. But in return, it will give you coupons. And in the shop is where all of the new building... Uh, things are like half pipes and um, different sorts of ramps and cool little things I really want to get into and I feel like at the end of our bus there should be at least um, a couple of these sinks just to sink things into it as things keep producing because miners don't they don't run out they are infinite it's, that's what I like there's no like in Factoria, there's no expected resources still in this little patch. I mean, if that was the thing, then this is very limited. But luckily, they made it that the miners can mine forever. So, at the end of our bus, we can have like a couple of these guys just soaking in everything. So, production doesn't come to a standstill. And with the coupons, we can go and reclaim couple of things. Hi, oh, Steve's back. Stop, Steve. Welcome back. Gently now, gently. You know, you remember what happened last time. You came in a little bit sideways and you hurt yourself. So, I was thinking, yeah, that 
this could be a thing. We have a couple of sinks and they produce coupons and then we can check out in the awesome shop and maybe make the um, factory a lot better in a sense, you know, like aesthetically. For now, I just want a giant platform, specialized areas and a way to get from one point A to point B to point C via some sort of transit system or something. But yeah. All right. And I think that brings us to the end of today's episode. Um, I don't know how many episodes I will be pushing out per week. It completely depends on how quickly I can, how optimized we can get things here, how they can produce, um, and how much time I sink in by like building things. But yeah, anyway, guys, thanks so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.